Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. Uh, we are looking today in this tutorial at controlling our um, light blue bean. So we're going to use the Tickle app to do this. And just recently, when you add a new project, obviously we can connect to a range of different Bluetooth um, devices. But what we're actually going to do is connect to the Arduino bean here and actually uh, program it so that we're going to create a little kind of uh, boxing um, exercise game uh, using the accelerometer of the light blue bean and you'll see the the video right next to this tutorial actually shows what it, you can actually do with it so let's let's get started so we'll tap on the bean uh, you can see at the top of my bean it says that um, I'm not connected up at the red now I'm not going to connect in this tutorial because I'm actually connecting to uh, a laptop to record this tutorial but um, it connects really easily it picks it up when it's in range and so forth um, and it comes up with a little uh, kind of a template or a, a quick project that you can actually do where it turns the lights on for, for the bean so you can have a look at the code I'm just gonna drag all that over to be honest and we're gonna start from um, we're gonna start from scratch basically so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in another character so top right hand corner and this other character is going to be our display of our game. So in this uh, case, let's bring in, let's look for uh, one of our favorite little characters here and go with the penguin. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we're now uh, coding the penguin at the top. We'll have our bean connected and we're going to start to give it some code. So the first thing we're going to do is a little if, if then statement. So we'll put it in the controls. And so what we'll do is we'll go down to the if then statement and just... Uh, I'll just put it there for now and what we're going to do is in the sensing range uh, you'll see a range of different things but also in the green code here you'll see a range of different things as well. So we can have a greater than less than and what we're actually going to do here is we might bring across the uh, greater than less than so if greater than less than and then what we're going to do is we'll uh, you can play around with how quickly the things move, but we're just going to put 1.9 for this one. You can actually experiment with the different speeds of the uh, of the accelerometer and see what it actually means. Um, I've got equal to less than. Let's get rid of that and let's actually go with something that actually works. Uh, so let's go with uh, one of these. And we'll just put 1.9 because I've actually worked out that uh, uh, 1.9. Uh, that this is kind of the speed that we want in regard to when we kind of move our arm forward, it's going to be the right kind of speed to actually make an impact on the game. And then we're basically going to go down to uh, the actual devices uh, code. So here we've got the devices code and we're just going to bring the accelerometer into this little two bit here. Um, so what it actually basically says that if the accelerometer of the X axis and we'll change the iPad to the beam, if it uh, is greater than um, a certain speed, then it actually plays something. So it's a really, really easy concept in regard to um, the device that I'm uh, joined to. And you can see there we've got altitude, we've got uh, temperature. It also reads the temperature from the Arduino bean as well. So there's a range of different things that we can do. And now it's as simple as what do we want when it actually reaches that speed. Um, so we could, for example, play a little sound here. Uh, we could actually... Uh, what else could we do? We could actually set the looks. So we actually might have the little penguin actually changing it looks and you can actually put here to the, let's go down a little bit here, let's see if, uh, the shot penguin. And so this basically says that if it reaches this, um, then it'll actually do these things. Uh, you could also put a if then wait kind of statement. You could actually put if, if it doesn't happen, then what do we want to happen? Um, in our controls here, we could have if, then, else. Um, in fact, we might actually do that. So if I actually drag that over, just gives us a little bit more. I'm going to drag this whole thing over here because what that'll do is it'll give us some more options in regard to if it doesn't reach that speed, what do we actually want to happen? Um, so what we might do is actually go to uh, our say code and we might get it to say, if it actually doesn't reach that, we might actually get it to say, uh, keep trying or good work, um, something that uh, encourages our player to actually do that as we go along. Um, so we can do a range of different things there in regard to our, 
our wait. Uh, we might also have it waiting for the next period as well. So what we can actually do here is we might have a little wait here as well. So that actually when it shocks it, it actually waits a certain period of time. We might just put uh, point, point 0.3 or 0 0.3, sorry, let's go with that. And so it just waits a certain period before it goes. And then we actually join it up, press play. And now when we actually move that bean a certain speed, it will actually, um, I guess, interact with the penguin and actually will change the look of it and also play a little sound. So what you've got in the video next to us to have a look at it is basically that exact thing. We actually want it to actually um, have some sort of impact on the penguin when we actually, our, our boxing or our exercise game reaches a certain speed. And you can play around with this temperature here. Uh, you could play around, so not with the temperature, the accelerometer there and do some different things. And there's a range of different things we can actually do. Uh, there's a temp one here. This is a little bit of code uh, that we've got where um, Batman actually says the temperature of the Adreno bean. So it actually, we can actually just get it to actually um, indicate what the temperature is on the bean. And so this is going to be a great little project that we're going to work with our students with. We're going to create little wearable devices. Uh, we can actually tap into the temperature and the accelerometer of the bean and have some interaction digitally with something on the actual iPad screen itself. So fantastic uh, little, uh, little project here getting you going in regard to um, connected devices, circuits, looking at these great little cool little devices that are coming out. And the great thing about the Arduino Bean clearly um, at the top here is that it's a blank canvas. So when we're actually creating a new project here, this Bean on its own um, does very little, but the kids' imagination and their ideas bring about some really amazing products that they could actually create. So Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. Hope you found that tutorial helpful and uh, give us some feedback. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.